my darlings learn to value relationships because there are relationships when you lose them re-entry is almost impossible she's a lady tj opex hello my darlings welcome back to my channel if this is your first time i am your lady tga don't forget to hit that subscribe and the notification bell listen this is not supposed to be funny but in this particular instance it is funny for a reason and it reminded me of something that happened to me but let me address this first after the first video that i put up somebody has sent a message to me somebody has sent a mail to me telling me he was going through a breakup a very terrible breakup and i asked if i should address it if i should bring it to you guys so we we'll talk about it and in his mail he said what caused the breakup was something very insignificant it wasn't something that would cause a breakup that they were just arguing about ice cream and that was what caused the breakup he kept on sending mails about the same issue and told him to go talk to the girl and they should settle because it was obvious he was having a hard time without her he said he had spoken to her he had apologized she didn't want to listen i offered to talk to her and i usually don't do this and he sent me her number i spoke to her and she told me the same thing that he said she said she just wasn't interested again that it wasn't really about the ice cream but that she fled up when he told her she was taking too much ice cream and i told her the truth i told her this guy was going through a very rough time with the breakup and that if she could reconsider she said nothing would make her go back to him and i said it was something they could talk over that it wasn't worth breaking up for she said she had made up her mind that in fact she had met some other person and that she wasn't ready to go back to him I tried my best to know Avil, so I wished her well because her mind was already made up. When the guy asked me, I was reluctant to tell him what happened. I told him to still talk to her. He said he had spoken to her the day before he contacted me and that she insisted. She said she had moved on. I mean, this guy was really having a difficult time. It was so bad that I decided to intervene. Not two weeks back, he told me that she contacted him and she wanted to get back with him. And I encouraged him to do that. He said no, that the breakup was very hard on him and that a lot of time has elapsed between the breakup and when she decided to contact him. He said he was yet to reply her, but he has not replied because she was not worth replying. So I told him that he shouldn't um, let it get to Zeke, that he should take things easy. And then yesterday he sent me a message that he has seen the perfect reply for her. So I said, I hope they are getting back together. He said, never. Out of curiosity, I asked why it was a perfect reply. He said it was something he got off the internet and it expressed exactly the way he felt that he was going to send it to me. When I read it, I felt it was so childish. At the same time, it was a perfect response, knowing what this guy had gone through. I'm going to post the message he sent to me. Let me read it now. Let me read it now. I miss you. I'm sorry. And I want you back. Then his response. This is an auto response. The guy you're trying to reach spent three months after your breakup praying to receive this text. Followed by three more months accepting that it would never come. The six months after that were spent dating other girls to get over you. It worked. Your text is a year too late and he blocked you. <laughs> and he blocked you. Wow. It was so pretty. And I told the guy not to do that. But he said I was too late that he had already sent it. And he feels satisfied. See, I learned something from this. It's because it reminded me of something. If you are not sure that you're ready for a breakup, do not let it first down. If you're not sure you're ready for a breakup, do not let it stay for long. So I told you it reminded me of something. About five years ago, I had a relationship, a girl, my friend, a very close friend, a friend that I cared so much about, we were very close. And I don't know what happened. With that explanation, she ghosted me. I was hurt and I searched myself and I knew the fault wasn't from me. In fact, it was four of us in that circle, but both of us were very close. She and I were very close. But when she behaved that way, I took it as one of those things. I was hurt, but I took it as one of those things. Now, five years later, without a word from her, she came out of the blues and she wanted to be friends again. 
and she asked for forgiveness sincerely from the bottom of my heart I forgave her but I asked what happened and she said nothing I said no there must have been something she said nothing I asked her what happened she said nothing that she didn't know why she behaved the way she did but that she was sorry I should forgive her I said I had forgiven her long ago that first I was hurt but I got over it and then she wanted us to be close again and sincerely, I have forgiven her, but that friendship is no longer there. Everything is dead. Because I kept on asking myself, why did she wait till after five years? I went through a lot, sincerely, that period, because this was my friend. This was somebody that was really close to me. Only for she to come back after five years to say nothing happened, that um, she was sorry. I forgave her. But I realized there was no space for her again in my life. I couldn't have sent this kind of message that this guy did, that he said he got off the internet, but I think it would have been funny if I had sent something like this. See, human beings are not toys. Human beings have feelings. You don't toy with people's feelings. See, you don't turn off your emotions on and off like a tap. You don't walk in and out of people's life as it suits you because you know they cared for you and you feel that they will always be there. Me, I learned this long ago. But I'm sure this will be a shocker to his uh, girlfriend. Because I'm sure she thought it's just a year and she could just walk in. No, human beings are to be valued. Try it. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever found yourself in that kind of situation. Sincerely, in any relationship you find yourself, value the people in it. Value them. That somebody loves you today does not mean that that love will always be there. Do not take anyone for granted. Because you may have a shocker, learn to say you are sorry and stop playing the victim because you will be surprised the way the events will turn out beyond your expectations. Have you ever felt that you could walk in and out of someone's life at will? How did it go? What happened? I would like to read that in the comment section. Please, human beings are to be valued, they are not to be toyed with. I just want you to know that human beings are to be valued and not to be toyed with. It is the human beings in that relationship that makes that relationship what it is. Remember, you are worthy of the very best that life has to offer. Bye.